Hi everyone, so we're, uh, I suppose this would be week three, day eight. Um, yeah, so let me have a little walk around. Um, today's a uh, Saturday, um, so it's about, uh, I'm not sure what time, about midday. We've just come down, watched, just watched Mr. Summers doing some work with a mini lathe, which was uh, nice to see. Um, so my plan for this weekend is uh, I've got my camera, I need to take some more photographs for um, the Instagram thing, ER10. What I've been doing is one photo um, a day, normally a black and white one of some workshop related thing. So I've nearly run out of photos, so I need to do that. Um, up here, uh, I was thinking, um, actually, yeah, yeah. Well, no, let's just open this up. I've been thinking about, is this the best design in here and everything? So um, I'm tending towards maybe making some sort of shelving all around here at the, the back sort of end. Um, I really, truthfully, don't plan to get much more gear than this. So so really having this all at, all at the back will be a reasonable thing and then here let's move back a little bit so where the yellow cupboard is i could get rid of that and actually just have a bench there and then put the tool and cutter grinder there so um and i've got the old um roller blind downstairs we'll go and have a look at that in a minute and that could potentially just come down here so if i'm doing the grinding i can just cover all that sort of area off to stop well i know it's only like stalls and you know but um just to stop it spreading around everywhere so you know if you've got any ideas let me know and likewise with the layout of um the the workshop so the um bloody it drives me crazy that i'll say so um the the reason the workbench is stuck out here is so i can obviously get around all sides of it um uh that one um i had i had originally thought about having uh this 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 bench coming out there and then this one this wooden one come the chippies one coming out this way so you could get both sides but uh, because of this pier and this support thing you you don't have enough room to get underneath you'll be bashing your head on there so i've decided that that's probably the best place for that but this is you know the same the concept of before really when it was downstairs that so i can get to all sides um and then really this was this is just for the machines um so if you think there's a better order, you know, shout, because at the moment nothing's screwed down, nothing's uh, um, permanently in place. And, and I don't think it will be until this is boxed in. Um, I have got a thought of, strangely enough, when I, when I was given that M, I wasn't given it, but I got it by, I wanted to buy the shaper and ended up getting the ML2 as well. And I wasn't so keen on it, but looking at it the other day, I, I quite like the idea of it now. So I was thinking of maybe just having something here fairly portable so I could set it up here because this is a bit of a dead space. And the, and if you remember, the doors are going to go there, even though they're um, only for, to allow sort of airflow in. So the, it, the, it could sit there. Um, but again, I'm not I'm not certain, I, you know, but uh, yeah. By all means, suggest if you think there's a, a better layout. Um, I, I just thought lathe, um, probably so. I could just probably have a better view, really. And, and it seemed to me to have the, um, the, the sort of the machines in the lower part of the roof. Um, then, then because, you know, I'm not going to have giant things, you know, I'm not... Um, cutting edge engineering in here am i so so uh, and and but if i did get something a little bit larger with the higher roof here that would be fine to be able to put it on the bench and and, and such like 
and also anything else that came in I could temporarily sort of use this space as well so that was my logic so jobs for up here as I say photographs for the old Instagram thing um, the good old wall oh yeah another interesting point is it's rained pretty much for the last two days here and we've got I've had no water here at all as you can see um, and it has rained quite a lot and we've had um, quite strong winds so I think it definitely is a wind direction uh, thing that has an impact on the rain coming in so that's quite comforting although I still want to try and address it and make it a bit better it's not like it's happening all the time I mean uh, I'm really not going to be to, well, this is, you can see one, two, three, four, five blocks up, so it's not very high, so you're never going to have a machine right tucked in here anyway. Um, so I think the gap's always going to be there, but you could end up putting junk there, which you wouldn't want to get covered in water. Yeah, so um, as I say, uh, paint the wall, take the photos. Uh, if we go come downstairs to the old area and we have a look up here looks all very um, for you regular guys very spacious now because I'm moving stuff um, so, oh, that was the design I was doing on the board um, of the uh, the thing I was doing in the book last week, at the end of last week. So let's pull the blind up. So we've got the um, M ML7. So I've got to now undo all the... Um, uh, where it's secured to the riser blocks. Jack it all up. Um, ready to lift off got a pallet we're going to put it on the pallet might have to do a bit of repair to the pallet it's a bit dodgy there um, so yes yeah, the plan so I want to have this all on button by Monday so then um, the guys are in on Tuesday and we're going to try and lift that off onto the pallet um, and then then what it'll do is it give me the ability to take the um, the uh, the tray up and the riser blocks and fit them to the um, to the stand upstairs uh, in readiness for when the forklift comes to lift the um, the lathe and the metal machine. So that's um, that's the plan. Shame I can't take my door with me. I was thinking about needing a new uh, sort of blackboard space up there, but. Um, I'm not sure really where I, you know, with the slopey ceilings, there's no real walls. So, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, I had, because I only had, really, all I did was run my power on a, here, I would unplug one of the bench grinders and that would power my lathe. And likewise, the power for the bench was just an extension lead which run I put up and it runs all around right around the edge and then down where that uh, uh, upright still there's a plug socket there uh, yeah see it's plugged in so I need to un undo all that so then because I think I'm going to have to do a similar thing upstairs because there's not um, there's no uh, power on the side side of the um, uh, the the work area where the machines are going to go so let's go back upstairs and I'll just show you what I mean oh yeah if you um, if you see where that cross saw is over on the bench sort of about there there underneath is three phase um, uh, power so the view is to be able to try and run it up the wall through the floor and then that would give me a three phase power outlet upstairs. Um, 
but currently here we've got a double power socket here another one up there there's two, the same in the, that in the clean room and same in the storeroom so what my plan is to do is to temporarily get some power there's some holes there which do appear in here so I can run the extension through and use this power as a temporary solution until I can get something a bit better sorted out um, yeah and uh, the little saw I've seen a little table thing a, little, a stand it's not for that because that's uh, made in the uh, 60s or 70s but it will give me um, get it off the ground and make it a bit obviously a bit more usable we have been having discussions about whether this this is actually needed this um, I don't know what you call it support in reality the, this is an old munitions um, building that's why all the floor is where uh, is made of wood because they couldn't have any sparks should anything um, uh, drop on the floor but all these this roof originally and all the the steelwork that that supports it was um, a slate roof um, and they were obviously extremely um, heavy so now this is just tin you know and it's only uh, well, I suppose it's tin, but yeah, you know, it's only nothing too exciting. Um, but there's not a lot of weight on there, and we've got we've got the big cross uh, braces going across. So um, yeah, there is a thought of maybe just hooking this one out. Sorry, I can't. And maybe just going putting the support straight up and down. But we'll see. Anyway, that's a another job for next week so anyway that's a bit of an introduction to uh, week three um, yeah so I better just get busy okay I'll bring you back when there's something more to show okay thanks bye oh yeah it's about um, four hours since we last uh, spoke so what have I been up to so I manned up and painted the wall so it took a bit of a while that one that one was a whole lot worse than the, the one on the other side. But, um, yeah, so that took quite a while, actually. Um, got the extension cable I showed you downstairs. So I've run that through the hole in the wall. Just, just so everyone's aware, I mean, all my machines are just, other than the th three-phase uh, D-bit grinder, um, they're all just single-phase and... Um, the chances of me ever running two things at once, being here on my own, are fairly, fairly slim. The only, the only potential, I guess, is the little um, Kennedy Hexacut, because it's not the fastest <laughs> machines, and um, it will. Uh, so you could check, check that off, um, and um, be doing something else, I guess, because it's got an automatic. Um, cut off so um relatively safe so yeah so anyway got that bit done well really that's pretty much all the ideas i've took a few pictures uh here's one for uh one of the instagram ones um yeah that's really it so oh yeah convert i said i wanted a bin add up on the list so an empty paint bucket that one i do for um stuff that I can put in the fire and had lunch McDonald's so uh, now you know why I don't appear on the screen um, yeah so anyway that's about it for today so I'll be back tomorrow big focus tomorrow will be um, getting the um, getting the lathe prepared to, to lift off the bench down there so I can then get on with uh, setting up all the drip tray and the uh, riser blocks on there Yep. Okay then. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Afternoon, everyone. Uh, so back in the workshop, day nine. Um, got here rather late. 
for some reason. I really slept well last night. That doesn't normally occur too much. Uh, looking at the wall, that that dried really well. So I don't think I'll be bothering with a, a second coat. Um, so that was pleasing because it's quite hard work. Um, so as explained yesterday, um, the uh, the object of today, the goal is to get the uh, the Myford unbuttoned. So I'll go off and um, get on with that, and then give you a bit of an update um, on how I've got on. Okay, uh, see you in a little while. Hi everyone. So back in the workshop, and uh, I've a lunch break now. I've had a um, special delivery from the Nakula's daughter. So say hello, Nakula's daughter. Hello. Um, so we're just going to stop for um, a bit of lunch and then I'll take you down and show you what I've done on the lathe. Nearly all done now. Okay, see you in a while. Hi everyone, so uh, back at the... Oh, we're on the lathe stand. See, I've got the riser blocks off, all the studs and everything. So I need to uh, give them a clean up in uh, preparation for refitting the lathe back up here. Um, let me walk you down to the lathe, show you what's going on. Um, yeah, a nice surprise to see my daughter with a lunch, nice chat, so I can't ask much more than that. <coughs> so um, here I've cleared all this space so the forklift can get in and lift the, uh, uh, lift the lathe and the mini machine up. So that's in readiness now, so that's another job done. Um, we just go up here. Um, oh yeah, you know when I was talking about this the other day, I thought it was, it's CAD, isn't it? Chalk aided design. Yeah. Anyway, on to the matter in hand. So the lathe's on the blocks now. So that's good. Um, I need to just disconnect the power down there. Um, I'll do that. Um, and then it's just ready to lift off onto the pallet and then away we go. So um, pleased with that for today. Um, yeah, so that's really the update for today. Um, I'm not sure. I may be in tomorrow, so that'll be Monday. Um, but if not, I'll be back Tuesday. Okie dokie. So, uh, um, yeah, so I'll see you the next time. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hi everyone, so we're um, day 10, um, I've only just popped into the workshop um, quickly because I've been out doing some other stuff, uh, got a bit of a one of the recycled windows that's going to be part of this uh, um, covering, there's, uh, I don't think the doors are going to be available till um, the beginning of June but anyway that's that's fine um, and just to let you know uh, while I was out today the guys kindly um, lifted down the um, the lathe uh, they undone the electric so that was great for me um, lifted down the lathe so now the bed or the drip trays all all movable so I can take that upstairs tomorrow and get that fitted to the table got to undo that but pretty much vacated here now so that's that's all tickety-boo hi everyone so we're on day 11 now um had quite a good day really uh as you can see the um the pallets up here with the lathe um and the metal machines and amongst that as well um i've got the um the drip tray on the uh on the, the lathe stand all siliconed up um, it was a lot easier on here than than downstairs um, so just going to follow the same process to lift the lathe onto the wooden blocks and then put the jack underneath jack it up a little bit pull these out and then lower it down onto the um, onto the studs um, so that's the plan for another another day um, I've also been messing around with the shaper which is, uh, put the lights all out. It's actually, I'm going to have to read, sorry about this, but then how to manage the light. Um, so it's pretty good. Uh, I've got uh, got all this moving up and down. Um, 
Uh, I've got it. Uh, the ram going back and forward, all the feed going back over. Just the problem is really around um, this lot indexing back and forward, but I've been cleaning it up, covered it in WD, so it'll be um, something to uh, have another go on another day. Uh, but other than that, um, so I don't think I'm in, so I probably won't be in here tomorrow. But, we're, but the good thing is the lathe and the mill's up here. And then we can start to um, get that back in business, which is uh, really good news. Uh, there's another, it's the bed of the, um, the shaper. That's all, just been messing around with that, giving it a bit of a clean up. Uh, yeah, so that's good. Um, yeah, nothing else to report. So uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye. Yeah, here we are. Um Back in the workshop, so day 13, um, I didn't come in, no day 12, sorry. I'm getting a bit lost on all the days now, to be truthful. Um, so we're up with day 13. Um, so let me have a bit of a walk around. Um, not much going on in here, the clean room, just just the clean room at the moment. Well, actually it's become, it's quite, everything's pretty unclean, but... <coughs> Once we get the partition up, um, things will start to progress. Um, so we've got the um, the lathe back on its uh, back on its base. Uh, connected all the the power switch up and got all that going. Um, so that's great news. I haven't levelled it uh, yet because it, it's going to move a bit because uh, it's going to go. Uh, this way once this uh, partition is up so it's it's good it's up here and it's all settled down but um so that's good news um in the last few days really well um you know i'm sort of getting to a bit of a stage where i need a partition to be done to complete things but the the guys are heavily into a um, sort of a manufacturing um phase at the moment so um uh, they're pretty busy, so um, I, you know, I'm having to fill my time a little bit. So, that, which is fair enough. That was always, always known. Um, I can't remember what I told you about the um, the shaper. So, I've been having a little uh, play with it, and uh, you have to put. I, actually, when I looked at the footage the other day from from here, it did become apparent. This is very dark so I need to um, sort out the light but um, I've been doing some cleaning and um, uh, and I think I mentioned this the other day but it's um, everything's really good and I'm going to start making some videos on the restoration of this because I think this is the one the machine I'd like to uh, get going first so I'm quite I'm sort of quite excited about this one I think it, uh, um, but I won't I'll talk about that more in um, in the the first of the restoration videos um, the other thing I did um, so I got the um, the decal um, I took the sides off which were on here um, clean and just did some general cleaning um, and put some uh, oil on on places where I know I'm going to need to uh, start the um, disassembling process disassembling um so it's just sort of in preparation um for when i get to it but um yeah uh, again it was more more around filling time it does look now i've had a play with it a bit more of a challenge this one i think i think the shaper may be good um and then today I've been having a little play with the um, the Myford uh, ML2, um, which is super small. Um, I've had or took the tail tail stock apart and been cleaning up some of the parts. Um, what what I've got my idea with this is that is initially I'm not going to do any of this on camera. I'm just um, just doing a, a basic clean and then I want to try and connect it to 
a motor and actually just see it runs and have that sort of set up first then um, so all I'm doing at the moment is just some sort of cleaning ink just to be able to be confident I can run it without um, too much of a problem I don't have a bench or anywhere to set this up yet but it's just it, it is filling time a bit um, it's a real shame because these I understand why the guy did it these are not they normally uh, have the belts on they did the ML2 and where he's converted these to have the um, the pulleys um, you know it's not so original um, and you know this and I've started um, doing um, just trying to be able to take the pulleys off because I will need some of the pulleys for the um, shaping machine and also some for the uh, the ML2 so it's just really generally um, whilst I'm waiting for the guys filling in a bit of time with um, some of these little um, projects but I think um, we've got a long bank holiday weekend here um, in the UK so I'm going to try and finish off um, as many really um, there's 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 a few few of these uh, tasks that I can actually um, progress or, or or actually get from the to do to the in progress um, stage. So that'd be a bit of a goal to try and get things moving a bit. Um, yeah, on that front, I've been having thoughts about how I'm gonna have this uh, office in the um, office clean room, whatever you want to call it. In the future, um, but I, you know, as I always say, everything's subject to change. But uh, I think it's really just having a, a bench that goes uh, along the whole thing uh, around the corner, pretty much like this, but just something that's not got a big bow in the middle, um, and be able to have uh, probably a shelf up high, um, up a little bit, and then just be able to have. I've got some old. Um, you know the wooden tool makers cabinets a bit like the Gershner boxes um, I've got some of those so I can put, put them up a bit high but still have the bench space and then get a, a small um, tool makers um, not tool makers like a watch um, voice so then uh, and then just really concentrate on our, you know what there's not a tremendous amount of value in trying to get this super clean all the time I've got this great big hole here and and it does even when they're manufacturing downstairs it, you still get a fair bit up here so um, um, yeah so I just got you know it's a bit of a, a bit of a time thing um, and I think we've decided that this this girder thing is going to come out so that's going to make the whole um let's move around um yeah so that's going to make everything um a whole lot more uh, uh usable um and uh, yeah so i just need to uh continue down the road um yeah yeah so i'm very pleased uh i, I think it's about two um PM. I've been here since seven in the morning. Can't believe I'm getting up at seven and coming to the workshop. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's about it for um, today. Um, so I'll uh, plan to be in here for the next three days and just doing a little bit, a couple of hours each day. And I'll, I'll make some videos and show you what I've been up to. Okay, then. Thanks very much. Cheerio. Hi everyone, so uh, day 14, um, I've been here for two or three hours, um, really achieved not a lot, just been messing around really, um, doing it well, I've sort of been working on the, the uh, what do they call them, um, world campers, leave no trace, so I've been downstairs really sort of removing the last remaining bits of uh, my stuff um, and putting everything back to how it was before I come so uh, yeah and I've just been having a bit of a uh, sweep up uh, uh, down there and um, bur burning I don't know if you can see the fire going down there and uh, down there yeah. 
fun. Big pile of sawdust for tomorrow, just to get, just to keep on top of it still, um, whilst, you know, still reasonably important to me whilst I've got, that's reason, it's important to me all the time, to be honest, but, um, until I've got the, the wall up, it's, um, trying to keep the amount of sawdust down um, is a good thing. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to have a walk around this side, do a bit of filming, just so I could see the difference in the light, so I can compare, because I was looking at the ML2 yesterday from the other side. So I'm trying to work out um, the best way to uh, get some light. Um, so that's, yeah. Uh, I got the hot plate out, had a little mess around with that. Um, I was trying to warm up a, a vice jaw for the nippy vice because I've got one screw um, holding the top of the jaw uh, on which I can't get out and I was just seeing if that would uh, generate enough heat for me to be able to budget but sadly not. So I might have another go tomorrow with it but um, yeah we'll see. So really that's about it for today and it's probably for this um, episode because yeah i haven't really totted up what the um what the total come comes to this is interesting uh these are old magnets from some british sorry battleship <laughs> from many moons ago and uh this was we used to braze them onto a onto a bit of rod so we could drop them down if we dropped anything when we were building things so um yeah, I've, so you yeah, have two, two long ones, one short one. I was thinking about the ML2 actually, um, although it has no value, to be honest, it's you know worth a couple of hundred quid at the most. Um, it will be quite a good exercise um, because the head splits, um, sorry, yeah, so you could scrape the ways and then um, scrape the um, drop the head down so everything still aligns so bearing in mind it has no no real value and it wouldn't matter too much if I messed it up um, uh, it could be quite a good project to um, try and learn to scrape um, although I did basic stuff when I was an apprentice and I wouldn't, wouldn't really say I know what I'm doing um, <laughs> that may be the case on everything that I do, um, and obviously if the if the uh, headstock dropped down slightly um, to to stay in line with the ways, if they're a bit smaller, because this is this can come down a bit. So we should looking at it. I, I can't see any reason why you know uh, one couldn't do it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it does appear dark around the side. So um, yeah, that that's just a little thought I had that maybe that would be quite um quite an interesting exercise to try and um, scrape it. I don't know how long the bed is. Uh, it's probably about two foot. So I don't have a surface plate that long. I only have one that's um, uh, twelve inches, one foot. So um, yeah, that would. Um, that would mean uh, having to get something a bit better, but then, um, yeah. So anyway, that's ra I'm rambling now. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, episode, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, take care. Cheerio.